One of the great things about Hit'em Up is how dynamic it is to create groups, which makes it very easy to segment your audience up into just the people you want to receive a particular message or set of messages. And one of the best tools to do that now available in Hit'em Up Standard and above is called Smart Selectors. So let's see the power of Smart Selectors in action and why you might want to use that. So personally, as an educator, I have a class of students who I just administered a test to last week. And some of them did well and some of them, well, not so much. And I'd like to send messages to the A plus students and possibly to the students who aren't doing well that I'll be in during the week to give them help. But let's start off with just showing you how it can work with the A plus students. So I'll tap new group and click smart selectors at the top. I've imported my last test scores as a tag. So I'll tap on that and it's a number tag. So that brings up the options of less than, greater than, equals, less than or equal to, etc. I'm going to pick greater than 85. Anyone who scored 85 or above, let's consider to have done good on the test. I'll click the back button and you'll see that it's automatically selected the seven students who performed very well in the class. So I'll just click next. So I'll call these people the top performers. Tap create. Hi, first name. I want to personally congratulate you on your amazing test score this last week. I'll put a little colon here, space, other, and then let's just put the test score, 10, 20, 21 test score. And then a little exclamation mark. Great job. Keep up the good work and let me know if you need any help at all. I'll be in after school this Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for any questions about your test. That's a pretty cool targeted message. And if I just tap send now, we will see that it's picking only the A plus students and B students and above. So it's finding Abby who has a score of 88, Abby in 99, 98 for Copland, 99, etc. So that's a super cool way to use smart selectors to just pick the people you want to send to with the criteria that you're looking for, in this case, their test scores. But you could literally do this for anything. So let's make another interesting group. You could use smart selectors for segmenting based on the profit that each particular customer gives you. You could do something as simple as birthday is today. And this will find the people who have a birthday today and make a group out of them. In this case, it's Abbott and Abigail. So on October 23rd, they have birthdays. And the cool thing about this group is that it's dynamic. So it means that tomorrow, it'll be a new day, October 24th. And that means that the people in this group will be changed tomorrow. So Abbott and Abigail will no longer be there, but perhaps some other people. So I can say, you know, happy birthday first name and we could even save that as a template for later send separately and send so that's a really cool way to use the date tags using smart selectors to dynamically create a group you could imagine you could do this for birthday is tomorrow appointment is tomorrow anything you can really imagine that's dynamically changing based on a date so anniversary, birthdays, appointment times, reservation times. This is a super powerful tool to pick just the people who need to receive a message on a certain time and date. One last thing you can do with smart selectors, let's check it out, is to just be an easy way to search for certain things like company contains Apple, for instance. And the cool thing, and I want to show you right now, okay, I found one person with the contact that has a job at Apple, and we can click back and see who that is. It's Abbott. But let's watch what happens real quick if I click next. Call this Apple employees. And if I go to the view list, just Abbott is in here now. But if I go to my hit em up, manage tags, company, and I go and add this to somebody. So I click add and let's give one to Adriana and Adrian and Agnes. 
I can go here and also add Apple to any of these people. And let's do Microsoft for these two. Let's go back and see what's happened to our group. Apple employees now has all the people who have a company of Apple there. So it automatically updated to represent the people who fit our search criteria under the smart selection. And we can even add another one, including company contains Microsoft. So you can compound these and create very complex and useful filters to dynamically pick people as you add them to your contacts. So this will add the two people who work at Microsoft. And you'll see here when I save that we have all five people in this group that we just had. Now let's watch something else pretty cool. So if I open up here contacts and I go to create new contact and let's add Steve Jobs, we can put his company as Apple, add his phone number of course so that we can send him a text and click done. And let's also add Tim Cook our favorite CEO, and also that he works at Apple. And this is just directly in your own contacts. This is not even in Hit'em Up. You can see how cool Hit'em Up is at figuring out who should go into which groups. So we just added Tim Cook and we open that up and it'll sync our contacts at the top and you'll notice that Steve Jobs and Tim Cook are now in the group automatically. So that's how cool it is. It's automatically being imported based on this filter straight from our contacts. That's really one of the key powers of Hit'em Up is using smart selectors to smartly target people for exactly what you're trying to market to them. So that could be just your students in your class as I use, but this could also be folks who earn over a certain amount or who have purchased so many items from you. And if you're keeping a record of those things as tags or as records on the contact, Hit'em Up can use that information to create a group dynamically just for you. So that's really, really cool.